Hey everybody, uh, had a crazy weekend. I went down to Monterey um, to a decommissioned U.S. Army base um, called Fort Ord. It was closed in 1994 and it is eerie as hell. It's right by the seaside and it's huge, it's vast, and it's just full of barracks and all sorts of buildings that have just been left to rot. The coolest thing about Fort Ord is actually the roads, the old concrete roads have kind of cracked and like mother nature is like creeping up through those cracks. There's like huge plants and trees growing straight out of the road and I think it's going to act as a perfect location for our third act uh, for Is This Heaven. Anyway, I want to share that with you. I spend a lot of time uh, looking for locations around the world, um, not just uh, places of desolation, but um, this was close and it's beautiful. And the weirdest part is that right over the road on the other side of the main street, there's a new, there's all these new complexes jumping up. There's a there's like a Target and a Starbucks, and it's just bizarre. The contrast is bizarre to walk over that street and enter a ghost town. Cool thing I want to share is some uh, early images of the Krieger. Uh, I think you've seen a few already. I don't want to show too much just yet, but um, this is what our other, the other protagonist, Jack, um, as an infantryman, uses. It's an it's an exterior exoskeleton and uh, a powered exoskeleton and it basically is a tank of some kind. It's a tank basically um, and it's a really cool design that I'm really excited about. I know that in this early stage of the film there's a lot of uh, concept art and VFX and uh, it looks like a, like a VFX driven short and uh, I feel like I'm always defending myself about this but it really is a narrative driven piece. Uh, I feel like a lot of films nowadays um, are using VFX as the new hot commodity uh, in film and certainly the box office uh, uh, tends to um, ju justify that, that statement. But um, this film has a big scope uh, and it does have some great effects. Um, but it is actually a very intimate film. The entire second act is with Matilda and her grandfather. Um, so anyway, lots more. Uh, I could go on and on. I could chat about this all night. Um, but uh, hope you had a good weekend and I hope you enjoy this.